This video is about 5D interpolation in G-Platform. The 5D interpolation module allows you to regularize unstacked data to a new geometry that you determine using one of the three available regularization schemes. This module uses a high-resolution radon approach. The data is regularized in the radon domain using the dimensions you define. Let's go through the pieces of our flow. First, we load in the gathers that we want to regularize. You can regularize gathers with or without NMO already applied. Next, I've copied in the binning module from my original geometry. You can skip this step if you wish, but it can be helpful to have the binning 3D module here when we get to the regularization stage. Next, we sort the data to inline and crossline. I've also included a create velocity model module because my gathers do not have NMO applied, and we will need the velocity model for the 5D interpolation. The next stage is to choose a regularization scheme. The regularization scheme creates a virtual geometry that defines which points the 5D interpolation module will interpolate to. You can see the results of each of these regularizations on the vistas here. The virtual SC regularization allows you to define sources and receivers according to a regular grid, similar to a traditional acquisition geometry. The polar regularization defines source and receiver locations according to offset and azimuth steps. Finally, the Cartesian regularization defines sources and receivers in an Archimedes spiral configuration. You can choose any scheme that you wish. Each scheme has its advantages and disadvantages. One way to determine which scheme is appropriate for your data is to run it, bin it, and then look at the resulting fold maps. We will bin and sort the regularized headers using the same binning parameters and sort that we used for the original data. Once you have chosen a scheme and binned those regularized headers, you can set up the 5D interpolation module. The input data item should be attached to the traces that you want to be regularized. The output headers item should be attached to your regularization geometry. If you are starting with gathers that do not have NMO applied, go to the parameters section and under NMO, select gathers without NMO, and then select a VRMS model. If your gathers already have NMO applied, choose NMO gathers. As with other similar modules, 5D interpolation includes a subsequence, which you can use to apply any additional preprocessing to the input gathers using the subsequence in or postprocessing to the interpolated gathers using the subsequence out. Next, you will want to look at the interpolation parameters. The aperture inline and crossline parameters determine how many traces will be included in the calculation for the regularization of each trace. These numbers define the half aperture width. An inline width of 200 would include traces from 200 meters on either side of the interpolation location in the inline direction. The parameters for min and max p-value determine the minimum and maximum p-value for the transformation from time and space, or Tx domain, to the tau p radon domain. Be careful when increasing these values. The runtime of the procedure will increase as the square of these values. Delta P should be set to the sample rate of your data. Lastly, increasing the number of iterations of the process can increase the accuracy of the transformation. However, more iterations will equal more runtime of the process. You can use the input, aperture, and output vistas to check that the 5D interpolation module is producing the results that you like by clicking around the location map. You can easily adjust and test your parameters using these vistas. You can also run on a smaller portion of your data by specifying that in the calculation area section. Thank you for watching this video. For more information or to download your own evaluation copy of G-Platform, please visit us at geomage.com. Check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe for more G-Platform updates and tutorials.